Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to my corner of the internet. Once again, I, my name is Jason, and today we're going to be looking at the fourth Space Venture Living Concept Art. Um, so, Space Venture Living Concept Art Phase 4. So we're going to be taking a look at this. I have not played this yet. Uh, it just came out. Uh, we were currently at $445,000 uh, on the... Um, uh, the Kickstarter project, and there are exactly, let me see, two days, 24 minutes, and six seconds remaining as of this recording, so, um, get on over there, tgakick.com, and support them, so I'm gonna go ahead and load this up, this is the first time I've played this, so, let's see what they have in store, so welcome to the installation wizard for Space Avenger Living Concept Air Phase 4, so, uh, this was in the last one, I'm gonna press enter, and I'm installed, I need some sound. Sorry for that. I should have had that up before so you didn't have to see my little thing. Anyways. <clears throat> Alright. So this one here apparently has a new death sequence. And, uh, and they have the challenge. Can you find it? So I'm going to be uh, trying to experience that. Uh, I'll skip over dialogue that I might have already gone over in the previous one. So, um, Your invisible ship docks. We've already read this. Alright. Well, new death sequence. It looks like a fine location to place one's feet for an elevator ride. Alright. So we're heading up the elevator. So everything so far looks the same as it did before. Hmm, it's oddly warm up here. In fact, the air... Oh, actually, if you'll notice, it's a bit of a... Uh, is that... Yeah, it's a little bit of animation there. We got uh, some running water as well as some, uh, some, uh, this, you know, the steam coming up. That's pretty cool. Okay, so new death animation. Where on earth am I going to find that? What's this? Oh. Cool, dials and gauges. You like dials and gauges, don't you? Yeah, you do. <gasps> that, it didn't say that last time. Oh, it did. Oddly, they do nothing. At least, maybe not. Okay, so let's uh, let's pick up the Buckazoid over here. You lean down and procure the coin from the carpet. It's been a while, but the feel of having a real, genuine, authentic Buckazoid in your hands makes you all tingly. It's wait, is this thing made of aluminum? Is nothing in this place real? No, unfortunately. So let's take a look at the the Cluck Yeager machine. See if there's anything's different about this. It appears to be an image of a chicken wearing goggles. What will they come up with next? I know, right? There's an exciting looking screen, control panel, and coin slot. Could this be an omen of a sweet game to come? Mm, probably not. That would be actual fun. Exactly, and we know that two guys don't make actual fun. It's, it's simulated fun. Then again, most games are. No, wait, they're actual fun. Ignore me! So there's an exciting looking screen. Okay, well, you know what? Let's go ahead and put the buckazoid in the slot. You slide the buckazoid into the slot marked insert coin. As you hear the coin tumble down, the cabinet enters, the screen sh suddenly springs to life. Revenge of the Ch Chun Cluck Do. Okay. This is pretty awesome. <laughs> Catch the eggs. Whatever you don't miss any eggs. Holy cow! <laughs> oh, Guile Steam goes with everything. The game over screen confronts you <laughs> with your utterly. The game over screen confronts you with your utter inability to succeed at this game or any game for that matter. <laughs> oh, I love that. Okay, you know what? It's been a while since I've actually honestly laughed at anything. That there made me crack up. That was awesome. <laughs> As you ponder the deeper meaning of being a failure at life, the arcade cabinet starts to rumble and spontaneously moves out of the way, revealing a cave. It appears not everything is just as it seems, which is a surprise given everything in here. It appears to be prefab if somebody's really cheap. Oh. Uh, you briefly wonder if domes like these can be purchased through the mail before recounting a bad experience you once had with a mail order company. That was different. The dialogue changed, didn't it? Because that was that had a reference be uh, to a whistle and a robot last time. Huh. Oh, that that was awesome. Oh, I I, I, I got a bit of a tear here. All right, so well. 
can I play the machine again? I, I gotta find that other death. Haven't you played enough adventure games by now to not know go around sticking your hands in random slots? Imagine what could happen. Ah, It's pleasantly smooth. I bet it would slide smoothly from a chicken's butt, albeit a very large chicken. Those bumpy parts maybe would be a problem, though. Alright. Oh, the bumpy parts on the egg, gotcha. Alright, well, let's go get the key card. Okay. Uh, oh, that's right. No. Go up a bit. No. Up. Huh? Come on. What a soothing pink hue. Oh, I gotta walk on the ground. There we go. You know, the proud owner of a key card. It's been a while, hasn't it? That was awesome. I was I was so ready to play that that game. I was like, oh, I've got this in the bag. I can do arcade games. <laughs> key card convenience. Oh, that was awesome. One by one, stones have disappeared from beneath the pool surface. They lead to a sandy area. You see what appears to be an Andromedan. Yes, an Andromedan. Actually, two, lying on hover chairs. One of them is trying to get get your attention. He seems happy to see you. What an honor. Wait, he seems to be happy to see you? Wait, can I jump in the water? Nice footwork. Michael Jackson would be jealous. Not. Even with a point-and-click interface, you've managed to miss the steps. We really tried to help, but no. Oh, well. Dun, 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 dun. Ow, you weren't prepared for this. There's really no sensation quite like having... Cubic foot sections of your body efficiently ripped from you. Skin, muscle, tendons, ligaments, love handles, <laughs> love handles, and all. Along with the free seepage of your blood into the once soothing pool water. Oh, what's that? Spinal fluid? This guy's getting everything! I'll bet you're really welcoming sweet, sweet death right about now. Ah, ha, ha, ha. It's been a long time since we've gotten to kill someone off, at least that anyone knows about. Too bad you weren't able to save your games. Weren't able to save your game. Soon, maybe. Keep your fingers crossed. Restore. Okay. Restart. Quit. Tweet. Uh, I'm, I'm willing to bet that it will probably end up with me actually tweeting. Alright, everyone. Um, there was a bit of a uh, problem with uh, the audio when I clicked on the tweet thing. Um, that's why I just sort of edited that out. Uh, it actually did go ahead and... It kicked me off the page, so I just decided to start over here. So, uh, let's try not to fall off the rocks this time. And I made it! And Mark's like, hey dude, what up? Yes, now you recognize them. It's Mark Crow and Scott Murphy, the legendary, as well as charismatic, funny, brilliant, and stunningly handsome game designer duo. <laughs> uh, one more prototype, guys. One more prototype. You vaguely remember a piece in Gamma Sutra about them trying to get filthy rich through some Kickstarter campaign. So far, so good, it would appear. Well, except for the heavy use of crud techs around here. Hi, guys! You greet them in an anxious, high-pitched tone, which reminds you of puberty. You're... Yeah, yeah, we're wherever we are. We've been us for a long time now, says Scott, rudely interrupting you. Hey, it's been three minutes since we ordered those drinks. And while you're at it, my hover chair could use a little... S sorry, could use some squeegee action, adds Mark. So, why are you just standing there? Make yourself useful. Mark turns to Scott. Where's Roger when you need him? Turning back to you, Mark says, Really? Why are you still standing there? Go back to the Kickstarter campaign page and help us get to $500,000. Move along, Lolers, man. And we thought Roger was a loser, said Scott. Mark, have you seen my snout block? I don't want to look weird in the spread we're doing for Galactoria. And with that, it sends me to their page. I, I, I gotta say, you know what? This one really won me over. Uh, I love the, um, I absolutely love the joke, the 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 the, the, the uh, Cluck Jaeger joke there with all the eggs. Uh, that was that was brilliant. And the, uh, I, I I don't know what they put love handles in there 
for the uh, <laughs> for the the new death that that got me too, and I it was, so we got some really nice part of particle effects and stuff there. Uh, overall, I'm really like I really like this prototype. This one is starting to feel even more complete. Um, it's got me even more excited for the full game. So. Uh, be sure to head over to TGAKick.com or this website here, which is guysfromandromeda.com, which will ultimately leave you to the Kickstarter. And uh, throw your money at these guys. They, they really they <laughs> they really need it, and I would love to see this game. Like they, they this Remember, this is just a freebie they're giving out to sort of give you a sample of what kind of gameplay, and uh, it's awesome. All right, well, um, I hope you've enjoyed watching this or playing it yourself uh, as much as I have had. And if you really want to help with the two guys, uh, head, on, head on over to TGAKick.com and uh, give them your support. Until next time, game on.